Hey guys, what's going down? Really quickly, I wanted to show you guys my Tome Topple TBR. I know I'm getting to this kind of late because it is the 10th and the Tome Topple started on the 4th of August, but there's still a week left, so I thought I would jump in so that I can participate. If you don't know what the Tome Topple is, I will leave a link to the Tome Topple announcement down in the description box below, as well as a link to the Goodreads page. But a tome is basically a book that has 500 plus pages, so as long as you have big books, you can participate. There are five challenges, as well as some Instagram challenges, which I will not be participating in. But challenge number one is to read more than one tome. Challenge number two is to read a graphic novel. Challenge number three is to read a tome that is part of a series. Challenge number four is to buddy read a tome. And challenge number five is to read an adult novel. Keep in mind that all of these books have to be 500 pages or more. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't exactly find a graphic novel that was 500 plus pages, and so I didn't pick anything for that slot. And I actually only picked two books, because the two books that I chose just so happened to fill three out of the five slots. Plus, there's only a week left in this challenge, it ends August 17th, and so I'm not exactly sure if I'll be able to finish more than the two books that I chose. There's another reading challenge going on this month that I'm really excited for, it is called The Reading Quest. I will be doing a TBR video for that really soon, so stay tuned. But for the Tome Topple, I will be reading The Host by Stephanie Meyer. I'm just gonna read the description for you guys because um, my brain is like not able to summarize right now. Melanie Strider refuses to fade away. Our world has been invaded by an unseen enemy that takes over the minds of human hosts while leaving their bodies intact. But Wanderer, the invading soul who occupies Melanie's body, finds its former tenant refusing to relinquish possession of her mind. As Melanie fills Wanderer's thoughts with visions of Jared, a human who has avoided invasion and lives in hiding, Wanderer begins to yearn for a man she's never met. Soon, Wanderer and Melanie, reluctant allies, set off to search for the man they both love. I'm actually 48 pages into this book, and what I've read so far is interesting, so I'm looking forward to finishing it. I've heard a lot of good things about this book, but I've also heard a lot of bad things about Stephanie Meyer's writing. I've never read a Stephanie Meyer book before. I never read any of the Twilight books, even though I watched the movies when they came out. I never thought to pick up the books. So this will be my introduction to Stephanie Meyer's writing. I'm hoping that I, you know, am able to continue to enjoy this book. Also, this will count as my adult book because this is adult fiction. For book number two, I have Grave Mercy by Robin Lefevers, and this book is about assassins. I'm gonna read the description for this one too. Escaping from the brutality of an arranged marriage, 17-year-old Ismay finds sanctuary at the convent of St. Mortain, where the sisters still serve the gods of old. Here she learns that the god of death himself has blessed her with dangerous gifts and a violent destiny. If she chooses to stay at the convent, she will be trained as an assassin and serve as a handmaiden to death. To claim her new life, she must be willing to take the lives of others. Ismay's most important assignment takes her straight into the High Court of Brittany, where she must pose as a mistress to the darkly mysterious Gabriel Duval, who has fallen under a cloud of suspicion. Once there, she finds herself woefully underprepared, not only for the deadly games of love and intrigue, but for the impossible choices she must make. For how can she deliver death's vengeance upon a target who, against her will, has stolen her heart? This is one that I'm really excited to read, and this counts as a tome that is a part of a series because I believe there are three books in this series. So reading these two books, I will be covering reading more than one tome, reading an adult novel, and reading a tome that is a part of a series. So yeah, these are my two books. I'm going to try to get through both of them in one week seven days. What are you guys reading for the Tome Topple? Um, let me know in the comment section below if you are participating. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, if you like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. See you guys next time.